through very odd and unexpected forces, seven strange and mighty warriors labeled themselves as the followers of Straw Hat Luffy. And after this moment, they will each grow in power until they cause an incident of great historic proportions. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be inspecting the extended forces under the theoretical command of our protagonist Monkey D. Luffy, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. The Straw Hat Grand Fleet is an organization consisting of seven New World pirate crews who were present on the island of Dressrosa during the defeat of Doflamingo and subsequently pledged their allegiance to Luffy as a result. Although it should be noted right at the beginning of this that Luffy does not consider them as subordinates and actively despises the idea of heading up such a large fighting force because it would quote unquote cramp his style. However, this did not dampen the spirits of those who chose to form this fleet with its seven divisions consisting of the beautiful pirates led by White Knight Cavendish, a former prince of the bourgeois kingdom who was exiled for being dangerously popular with the ladies. He possesses an individual bounty of 333 million berries, despite the fact that he is not a devil fruit user. Although his true power comes from his creepy, murdery alter ego, Hakuba. And interestingly enough, Cavendish initially began the Dressrosa arc with the intent to kill Luffy, as well as all of the members of the worst generation for stealing his limelight. However, after being turned into a toy and then being saved by God Usopp, he developed great respect for the Straw Hats and dedicated his crew of 75 people and a horse to spreading the good word of Luffy throughout the world. Next up is the Bato Club, captained by proud Straw Hat fanboy Bartolomeo. And when I say fanboy, I mean like out of this world fanboy, as evidenced by his ship, the Going Luffy Senpai. Individually, Bartolomeo is a fairly powerful rookie pirate in the world, commanding a bounty of 200 million berries, as well as an incredible paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to create seemingly impenetrable barriers. Quite notably, the Bato Club consists of exactly 56 members, which is Luffy's signature number. Comprising the third division of the Grand Fleet, we have the Hapo Navy, the primary military power of the Kano country, currently commanded by Don Sai, who played a primary role in the downfall of Doflamingo and Dressrosa, defeating one high-ranking member of his family and then going on to marry another. However, the Hapo Navy may also have another great asset in its former commander, Chin Zhao, a man with a 500 million berry bounty, although it is unclear if he is still involved with the group. In any case, the Hapo Navy boasts the second largest quantity of members amongst the Grand Fleet, delivering a 1,000 man fighting force. Moving on, we have the Triple X Gym Martial Arts Alliance, and I know what you're thinking. I've seen a video with a very similar title on RedTube, and I, uh, I don't remember that guy. But I do remember that guy. And well, look, to avoid the confusion, this group later decided to rename themselves the Ideo Pirates, rather creatively named after their captain, Ideo, a boxer from the Long Arm Tribe. This group also consists of Blue Gilly, a martial artist from the Long Leg Tribe, as well as Jeet, a member of the Long Tongue Tribe, and his longtime comrade, Abdullah. And that's kind of that. The Ideo Pirates make up the smallest group amongst the Grand Fleet, but they do make up for their size with some very decent firepower. Next up is the Tontada Pirates, formerly known as the Tontada Corps, made up of 200 dwarves of the Tontada Tribe, who were native to the island of green bit within the Dressrosa Kingdom. They are led by Captain Leo, who while small, possesses a surprisingly incredible amount of strength and speed, as well as a handy devil fruit that allows him to stitch things together, which sounds lame, but it's actually pretty cool. Stepping into the sixth division, we have the mighty power that is the new giant warrior pirates, which comprise a mere five members. However, they are all giants from Elbaf, so the idea of coming up against even five of them is just terrifying. They are captained by the mighty Harudin, and prior to joining the Grand Fleet, they were actually very profitable members of Buggy's Pirate Dispatch Organization. But while they are currently members of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, their ultimate goal is to reform the giant warrior pirates, a crew whose very presence once shook the entire world. And finally, the seventh division is commanded by Orlumbus, who actually has his own Grand Fleet called the Yonta Maria Grand Fleet. Sadly, very little is known about him and his crew. However, it makes up by far the highest numbers of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, totaling 4,300 members. And that number of crew is spread over 56, there's that number again, 56 ships. Now, how exactly did this incredibly diverse group of pirates come together? Well, it all began when former warlord of the sea, Don Quixote del Flamingo, decided to host a tournament in the Corridor Coliseum, located within his nation of Dressrosa. This was no ordinary tournament though, as the prize he offered up to the victor was none other than the Mera Mera no Mi, the Logia devil fruit previously used by Fire Fist Ace. As a result of this magnificent prize, the captains and several crew members of each of these factions by the Tontata tribe each entered the tournament, which was a battle royale style affair. However, this was but a clever ruse by del Flamingo to add to his army of toy slaves. And following the defeat of each competitor, they were turned into a toy through the devil fruit powers of Sugar, one of the officers of the Don Quixote family. Of the future Grand Fleet captains, only Bartolomeo and Leo would escape this fate, Bartolomeo by winning his battle royale in the Colosseum, and Leo by not participating to begin with. In any case, Sugar's powers would be broken in a rather bizarre manner by the straw hat pirate Usopp, who became the savior of this legion and would go on to be referred to as God Usopp as a result. From here, these factions led an uprising on Dressrosa, eventually culminating in the defeat of Dolphamingo 
Mongo by the hands of Monkey D. Luffy. Following this, the captains had a couple of days to bond and decided they owed Luffy and the Straw Hats a debt, coming to the conclusion to pledge their allegiance to him via the ritual drinking of sake cups. And of course, Luffy refused, but this was misinterpreted as some grand statement about freedom, inspiring the Grand Fleet captains even more. And so they completed the ritual on their side and officially formed the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. From here, the Grand Fleet split up, with each of them going forth into the world, spreading the news of Luffy, and in some cases, actively fighting on his behalf, such as Bartolomeo visiting an island within the territory of Redhead Shanks and burning the flag of the Red Hair Pirates, much to the extreme shock of the island citizens and the readers of the manga. These various adventures would be detailed in the stories of the self-proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Fleet cover story. However, the greatest actions of the Grand Fleet are still yet to come, as after their formation, we were left with the very ominous words of the narrator that we used to introduce this video. Through very odd and unexpected forces, seven strange and mighty warriors labeled themselves as the followers of Straw Hat Luffy. And after this moment, they will each grow in power until they cause an incident of great historic proportions. But for the moment, that is a story no one knows. Some more fun facts about the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Just as with many other prominent groups in the series, the seven captains of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet have been drawn in their incredibly adorable child forms, which can be viewed in the SBS of Volume 82. Furthermore, in the SBS of Volume 92, Oda went on to reveal the favorite and least favorite foods of each member, and I won't go into all of them, but quite notably, Haridin's least favorite food is Semla, which refers to Charlotte Linland's catastrophic time on his home of Elbaf. When added all together, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet sports a total of 56,040 members, not including the Straw Hats themselves, of course. But once again, that magic number of 56 makes an appearance for the third time in this video. And finally, a truly useless fact, of all of the Grand Fleet divisions, the Ideo Pirates are the only faction not to have a named ship. But that pretty much does it for the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101. I knew I'd seen that video before. It's actually pretty highly rated. 80%. Wow.